We are here on Kalapaki Bay, one of my favorite beaches in the world. Aloha. It occurred to me today that, just a second, a little too Hollywood with the sunglasses. It occurred to me today that slowing down to speed up, which is, I don't remember where I read that. Some ascended master wrote that. Um, it just hit me. I had an epiphany about what that means. When you slow down, and that means not rushing, <laughs> and it means walking slower, because that's what I do here. It's taken months to get to that point of slowing down, because uh, rushing doesn't work. I even broke my foot once because I was rushing carrying a cooler and a bag of potato chips and then I tripped <laughs> that was a lesson okay so back to slowing down to speed up so here's my take on that when you slow down and take deeper breaths because you just naturally do when you're slower there's something that happens you get more connected to your inner guidance about where to go next even in the next moment because this is all temporary folks <laughs> everything that we've created here is temporary not permanent and um, we tend to get caught up in our infrastructures our lives our work our everything are things and I was thinking today about uh, my next move and I realized that thinking about it isn't going to help so much it's more about slowing down and hearing what the next thing is for you to do and part of why I love travel so much is that it gives me a lot of time to reflect and think well, not so much thinking, but reflecting and getting to my inner guidance. Because it just happens if you slow down and let it happen. So when you slow down, the real core of your being is revealed. And you can hear it a lot easier when you're slow. When you're rushing, I can't hear. And I don't think most people can. And then... What translates into speeding up is because once you hear that core guidance, you're not as caught up in all of the side parameter things that don't matter. You get more to the meat and potatoes of what, what your purpose is and what you're supposed to be doing here. I mean, yeah, that's a big concept to think about, but... But taking it down a notch from even those words, consider it like this. Each day is such a gift, and you can hear that so often, but actually, no matter what's going on. Like today, I felt, okay, I'm going to go to the farmer's market and get some papaya. And all of a sudden, I realized how wonderful it is that I can buy a papaya for $2. This is an enormous papaya. You can't do that everywhere. I never even saw a papaya in Syracuse, New York, and in Canandaigua, upstate New York, where I was raised. Never even saw it. I think I was a teenager before I even saw an avocado. Uh, we didn't get those. <laughs> because how could they come from so far away and still look as good as they do on this island? Um, so back to the slowing down and speeding up. Slowing down really does help you to be grateful in the moment because wow we're breathing and uh, we have our life our breath is the most important thing we have we just assume it's going to be there but you know on the same topic let's just assume that things are going to be positive rather than the negative things that we a lot of times think about I was listening to Louise Hay the other day, and she said that 77% of what we think about is negative. Ha! Huh. And I think that's true, because, well, maybe not so much in Hawaii. People seem pretty happy here with natural smiles on their face, and they're, they're not even hitting on you. <laughs> People
people just smile at one another. So just to get to a place where you're grateful in each moment, it does take slowing down and it does take breathing deeper and listening to what you're going to be hearing inside you because you know people can give you advice but really consider the source um, and experiment with everything I've told you today it's not a truth unless you experience it for yourself and know it and feel it in your own spirit so if somebody else's truth, like, you know, that's why I've always been um, offended when people come and try to foist their religion upon me. Like I don't have my own practices and my own beliefs and knowledge and wisdom. I'm not just going to fall prey to whatever it is you think I should be doing today. Um, so experiment, the Dalai Lama says. Experiment with everything that you hear. Investigate. Don't just take it as fact try it out for yourself. So I'll leave you with this, with the slowing down and speed up. Let yourself slow down, breathe deeply, and see what happens. Don't have any expectations. Just uh, expect the unexpected. <laughs> and another saying I like is expect a miracle, because every day really is a miracle. So aloha. Many blessings to you from Hawaii from the magical garden isle of Kauai. See you in the next video.